Hi guys, um, welcome to our first online lesson. Um, today what we're going to be starting is the GDA, the Greater Dublin Area. Now on school on Thursday, or in school on Thursday I should say, you should have received two sets of notes, your regional and geography notes, the complexities of a region and also the Greater Dublin Area notes. Now if it's a situation where you don't have these, just contact the school and we can send them out to you, okay? So that's the first thing to start off with. Now, we're going to start with the GDA, the Greater Dublin Area, because I know a lot of you have looked at this prior to this, but we really want to get in depth with this. So the Greater Dublin Area is also referred to as the GDA. Now, remember the Greater Dublin Area to start our essays, GDA after that, is an area of Dublin, around Dublin, I should say, which includes four counties. So Dublin County itself, Kildare, Meath and Wicklow. Now, the GDA is a core Irish region. Now, by the word core, if you're any way confused with the word core, what I want to make sure that you do is you actually pop over into the regional geography notes, this set of notes here, and pop over to the back of the notes to page number 32, and just read down through your definition of a core region and also your characteristics. So if there's if any confusion with core, the word core, pop over there and have a look. So pause the video, pop over there and get through it. Now, to start off today, what we're going to start off with in your GDA notes, your Greater Dublin Area notes, is we're going to pop over to page number two. We're going to pop over to page number two, starting with our first part A. Now, some of you may be familiar with this. For those of you who joined geography this year and are in sixth year, you probably won't. Now, I'm going to start with this question here. Now, this question I've actually kind of mixed up a little bit for yourselves. It's a mixture of a sample and a 2018 question. Now, what this question is, it's a regional geography question. Now, this means that this question can come up in your exam paper as question number four, five, and six. Regional geography, just like physical, can also be examined in your short question. So please remember that, okay? Four, five, and six. Now, this is one of the part A's, which is very, very common in your exam. Now, remember, part A's means for you 20 marks. So in your exam, this is worth 20 marks and 20 marks to you. What that means time wise is five minutes, no longer. Now, five minutes is absolutely perfect for this question, because what I know you're going to do is you're going to take on board what we do today and learn it off by heart. Now, let's have a look at the question. So it says, draw a highlight the word, outline, highlight, Irish region. So draw an outline of an Irish region. Now, the Irish region here, and I want you to jot down, is the GDA. So the greater Dublin area. So the GDA is our Irish region in this case. And on it, show and name each of the following. Now, in relation to this, what they will always ask you is four things, okay? For you to show and name four things. Now, this here is the 2018, okay? So this here is your 2018. Down here, this is just an additional point, which I've put in for your sample question, okay? So that's it. this is a little bit extra that I do think will come up. It's come up in your European and your continental, subcontinental. So just to point that out in case you're looking at the question in front of you. So what they ask us to show and to name is, first of all, a named river. Now, instead of a named river, as I mentioned in the, actually in the previous, in a previous lesson with the fifth years, is a named river can also be referred to as a feature of drainage. So just on your notes, maybe highlight and jot that in. It's also referred to as a feature of drainage. Now, as you probably can imagine, the feature of drainage we're going to look at is the river Liffey. So that's going to be our feature of drainage. Now, the second thing they ask us here is our named feature of relief, okay? Now, we're going to go for an upland feature of relief. We're going to go for the Wicklow Mountains. So, our upland feature of relief are Wicklow Mountains. We're going to go for two urban areas. So, in 2018, you were asked for two urban centres. Now, the two urban centres we're going to pop in on our map in a couple of moments is, first of all, Dublin City, and second of all, we're going to pop in Bray, okay? So Dublin City and Bray. Finally, our communication link here, our communication link we're going to put in a nice and simple one for ourselves is actually the M50. 
50 motorway. Now, that was not asked in 2018, but it is a possibility they will ask you this. They may say road or rail link. Now, with regards to this here, how the marking scheme works, 20 marks, five minutes, where does your marks come out of? Well, first of all, for your outline. So the outline of your Ireland and the outline of your GDA. You're graded on this in a grade of zero to four. So your outline is worth zero, two or four marks. Now, you can imagine yourself, obviously, if your outline is nearly perfect, similar to what mine is, I, no one can laugh because there's not nobody here to laugh at me today, okay? So it's very, very sad. Zero, two, four, if it's perfect, you're going to be getting four, okay? If it's not good at all, you're going to be getting zero. If it's in between, it's two marks. It's pretty simple. Now, you're asked to show a name. With regards to showing on the marking scheme, it's graded also. So for each of the four items you show, you're graded on zero, one, two. Now, again, common sense, two marks if it's perfectly located. Naming each of them, i.e. just like I've done here, is worth two marks for each feature. Now, combine that together, that's going to give you an overall mark of 20 marks. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at our map of Ireland and the GDA, and we're going to mark in all these points. So we're going to go over to the other board here. Now, on this board here, what you'll see is I've already, just to speed ourselves up, have my outline of Ireland, and I've popped in my outline of the GDA. Now, what I want you to do is, on page number three of your notes, so page three, open it up there, you're going to see I was very, very generous and I gave you to start off with your outline of Ireland. Now I want you to take a second, maybe pause the video, and I want you to pop in your outline of the greater Dublin area. Now, obviously you're at some distance from the camera here, so if you need to actually go maybe onto Google, type in your three counties and use that for your outline. So just get it perfect the first time. Take a second and do that. Now, once you have that done, what we're going to be putting in is all of what we had over here. So I'm going to start off, I have four, three color pens in my hands. So I'm going to use these to help me, obviously, to mark in for my examiner the points. Now, I can write on this sketch map, but you cannot write on your sketch of your ordnance survey or aerial photograph. So just remember that. So you can do a key or legend if you want here either. Now, to start off here, is Ireland, obviously here is the greater Dublin area. You have Dublin, Kildare, Meath, and you have Wicklow incorporated in that. Now, with regards to them, what I'm gonna start off with, I'm gonna start off with my urban area. So easiest one to start off with is Dublin city. Now I'm gonna move from here. So if you look at the little inlet here, your little estuary, put a little point here, okay? So just a little dot there, and we're gonna mark in Dublin city. So this is our first named urban area. So Dublin city. So that's our first one and obviously our main one for the entire country. Now, from there, move down a little bit, okay? So just to approximately here, place in a little dot and we're gonna pop in Bray. Now, for a lot of us, we'll be quite familiar with, uh, with this, which is quite good, okay? So there are two named urban centers. Now from there, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop in my river, my feature of drainage. Now, the way I kind of think about this is it kind of, I suppose, you start in Dublin City, think about Dublin City, the Liffey Run runs right through it. We're gonna come out, jolt in, and kind of come out again and in, okay? So it's nearly like it makes, I suppose, the shape of an E, okay? So it's kind of a little bit of a wobble there. Now with that, make sure you write in its name so you need to write in, I'm colour coordinating here, so I'm going to pop it in over here, the River Liffey. Because each time you name one of these features, you're awarded two marks, okay? So that's my two urban centres and also my feature of relief. Now following on from that, what I'm going to pop in here, I'm going to use the black pen, I'm going to pop in my Wicklow Mountains, okay? Because these are what we had for the 2018 exam question. Now my Wicklow Mountains, kind of goes a little bit of a funny shape. So here, they kind of go around in like, just a little shape like this here. 
And again, get it as perfect as possible, but it's not possible. Again, there is human error involved. Your examiner understands that. Marketing, I'm gonna keep the river liffy shown in it, so I'm actually not gonna shade it in fully. So just like this here, and I'm going to write down my Wicklow Mountains, which is my upland feature of relief or my named mountain area. Now that's all the points we were asked in our exam from our examiner in 2018, but one possibility that they might also ask us is actually our motorway, okay? So our motorway, or they may say road, they may say communication link, is our M50 ring road. Now, that's a nice, easy one to do because obviously it just goes in a little ring around the city. So from the north, County, or North Dublin, so we go kind of out nearly like straight and then it loops around, okay? So looping around just like this here, okay? Now, that is the M50, and I'm going to pop it above it, so the M50 motorway. Or you can say M50 ring road if you wish. So either either. Now guys, that's my sketch map worth 20 marks. And in your exam, you're going to be asked for four out of the five of them features, okay? 20 marks means five minutes. And this is somewhere that you'll be familiar with yourself, but you do need to practice it. Now guys, finish off the map on page number three, where I have given you the outline. On page number four, if you just switch over the page, I've given you a blank sheet to try a second time but guys doing this once or twice is not going to get you anywhere you need to practice this 10 15 20 times because in your exam one of the three areas or three regions you study is going to be asked okay it's asked every single year so if you have this perfect you know you have 20 marks in the bag and believe me i know you're going to be sitting at home drawing out the map of the map of ireland and you're going to get extremely frustrated like we all do okay but just keep going, persevere through it. 20 marks, five minutes in the exam, and that's 20 marks in the back. Now guys, that's the end of our lesson today. We'll be moving on to our physical characteristics in our, les our next lesson for the greater Dublin area. See you then.